So when you have all of these done, make sure that you always save all of these actions as a preset. This way, when you go to your next video, if you want to drop in that same transition, all you have to do is hit the preset button and boom, you don't have to fidget around with the, the motions and the sizes. It will automatically drop that on there. Maybe I should show you guys how to, uh, let's run back to the B cam real fast, I'm sorry. I should have showed you guys from the very beginning how to save this as a preset. So let's go ahead and double tap this clip. Okay, so let's go to the frame and fit. What we wanna do is save this as a preset so that if we wanna use this transition in a future video, we don't have to go through all of this again. And how we do that is we hit the star with a plus button in it and let's hit Let's name it Zoom Blur 10 frame. Oh, maybe we should put first clip. So now we'd wanna come over to the color and effects. So now what we're going to do is once again, save this. So let's go ahead and put Zoom Blur, 10 frame, Motion. So let's go and save the very next one and we are going to do this same thing, star with the plus, Zoom Blur, 10 frame, second clip. So now we'd want to come over to the color and effects. So let's go ahead and hit the star with the plus. Zoom blur, 10 frame, motion, second clip. Okay, let's see. So we have to save them both as presets. So obviously when you're under frame and fit, it is going to be saved as a motion preset. And then when you are under color and effects, it is going to be saved as an effect. So let me just show you again, save effect preset. So go ahead and save both of those. This way you do it one time and it's done, completely done. You're never going to have to do that again. But let's say, that you wanna do something even longer. Let's pull it down here. Let's say that, I'll make a clip here. Let's say that I want to apply it to something that's significantly longer, like 20 frames. Let's go ahead and apply it to that. So let's go to frame and fit. We're gonna hit the star. Going to go to the color and effects and do the, save that one. And we're going to go to the second one. Color and effects. Second clip. So let's see how this looks. Does it matter how many frames? Let's see how this looks. So as long as you have these motions saved as presets, it doesn't matter if you're applying it to something that's five frames or 10 frames or 15 frames, it's gonna work itself out mathematically. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for joining me. If you have any requests for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to get to them just as soon as I can. I thank you guys so much for joining me and watching and giving me thumbs up and subbing. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And until next time, wear that sunblock, guys. 30.